So if you're struggling out of bunkers, I'm going to give you some of the most common mistakes I see when I give bunker lessons. So mistake number one is that people tend to have their stance too open. So there's a lot of information out there saying you should open your stance in a bunker and you should open the club face. So this is a double banger. So I'm not one that says you should open the club face. You should have the right amount of bounce on your golf club. And if you play golf where the sand is, is on the firm side and thin side, you do not want to open the face of the club. If you're playing golf in a bunker where there's a lot of thick sand, it's okay to open the face of the, of the club. So by opening the face of the club, we raise the bounce of the golf club. That stops the club from digging in. So that's a great thing if you're playing in thick sand. But if you're like here at Eastwood, where there's not a lot of sand in the bunker, having your club face open is going to expose the bounce to the firm surface and you're going to hit, and it's going to hit the firm surface and belly the ball straight into the face or maybe over the back. So we want to have a square club face. We also want to have a square stance. The moment I have an open stance, my path is going to swing across and I'm going to move my contact point more toward the toe. If I, so we basically lose a third of the club face by opening our stance. If we open our club face as well as our stance, we're losing two thirds of the club face. Now, if you're a highly skilled golf professional, you're good enough to only hit out of one third of the club face. Most people aren't. So they need the full three inches of the club face at their disposal to get the ball out. So I would just try and get everything pretty square, certainly aim a fraction left, but it's not so much open, but the ball is gonna land and it's probably gonna to kick to the right a little. So you may wanna just try and get that about maybe half a flag stick to the left, that would be good. But no opening the stance. Keep everything as square as you can, you're gonna get a better result. So mistake number two that I see people make quite regularly is they have the ball too far forward in their stance. So we do want to hit, basically, if I put that line in the sand there and I'm going in that direction, I want my ball to be just forward of the center of my stance. The club is going to enter the sand in the, in the middle of my stance, which is where that line is. It's going to descend under the ball and I'm going to trap a layer of sand between the club face and the ball. That's going to stop the ball from going too far. If my club touches the ball at all during the bunker shot, it is gonna to go too far. So we need that layer of sand trapped between the club face and the ball. But the mistake I see so many people is they have the ball off their left heel. So from the middle of their stance to where the ball is, there's that far. So one of two things is gonna happen. They're gonna hit behind the ball that far, and then they're just gonna dig in the sand and keep it there or they're gonna hit and it's gonna bounce and by the time they come out of the sand, they're gonna hit the ball and it shoots in the face of the club. So we only wanna just have the ball position just very, very slightly forward of center. And if we can get the, the ball forward of center, two inches, three inches maximum, that's gonna help you to get under the ball and get the ball out. The third common mistake I see most golfers make is they are not having enough momentum to get the ball out. So I see a lot of people swinging and they're stopping as soon as the club hits the sand. Therefore, a little bit of sand shot forward on the face, but it didn't get out. So I really want people to wor not worry about the ball. Let's have a practice swing and let's get some sand out onto the putting surface. And if sand comes out, the ball will come out. So it's, we need to accelerate. Gary Player talked about striking the match. If we've got a box of matches and we want to strike it, we've got to get a little bit of speed. If we just go slowly and if we decelerate, you're not going to light the match. We want to accelerate at the bottom, but it's at the bottom. We don't want to accelerate up here. We don't want to accelerate here. We want to accelerate at the bottom. And that's what Gary Player meant by that term striking the match. So if we get used to hitting sand out of 
the bunker, when we play this shot, we just try and get sand out and the ball comes out. So that will go a long way to helping you get the golf ball out. Just get some sand out on the green. And the last common mistake I see people make in bunkers is they're trying to get the ball out and they're trying to get the ball high. So when they play the shot, they're leaning back and they're staying on their back foot and their left heel is coming up off the ground. Because in tennis, if you want to hit a high top spin lob, you lean back and you hit up. That helps to get the ball in the air. But when we're in a bunker and when we're playing golf, we never, ever want to move back to our right hand side to help get the ball in the air. So a good way of thinking about it is I've got another ball here. If I'm going to throw the ball toward that, toward that flag stick, I, as I throw it, I'm going to move my chest to my left and I'm going to finish with all of my weight on my left foot. My nose is going to be more forward and toward my left foot. And if I can do that, I'm giving myself the best chance of getting out. But the moment I start moving backwards, my contact point with the ground is going to move to the right hand side and I'm going to hit way too far behind the ball. That's not something we really want to do when we play a bunker shot. So when I'm playing the bunker shot, I want to feel that I'm moving and my nose is going to finish over my left foot. So from here, I swing the club back, I move forward, my nose is over my left foot, the ball comes out quite nicely, that's going to help get the ball out of the bunker. So there's some of the key mistakes that I see people make when they're playing bunker shots. So if you can work your way through that list, it's not a, com it's not a complete list, but these are the most common things that I see. So if you can work your way through that list, it's going to help you to hit better bunker shots. If you want to lower your score, I'm going to put a link to another video just up here I know is going to help lower your score.